Hey there, Fabian back with another video where I will show you how much you can earn with a pretty good Udemy course in a year and a half and give you more useful details about this. I will try another approach and go directly into showing you the numbers that my course did and then we'll go into a bit more details on how I achieved this for people who will continue to watch the video after I show the numbers. First off, this is the Udemy course right here that I released in uh, November 2018 as an experiment while having a full-time job. Keep in mind I released the course after having two to three years of experience in Node.js web scraping field and the actual content of the course is condensed without fluff with actual good value. Alright, now that I gave you a bit of background, let's go and see the numbers directly. As you can see right here, this is the dashboard of the instructor. I will go ahead and refresh it just to show you that this is real and it's not edited. And I will go and select the date range to all time. And we'll go directly to the first month, which is November 2018. As you can see, the first month the course did $500 which was quite surprising for me at the time because it was the first course that I launched and it did $500 because it was also selected for the Black Friday campaign. So that definitely helped with uh, the revenue for the first month. If we go to the second month, you can see that it dropped a bit and it earned 366 and then it went back up because I started to update the course again with new material and from uh, the initial four hours and a half of content that I released initially, it went up to like five hours of content. And then throughout February and March, I kept on updating the course until uh, seven hours of content. Then I stopped updating the course because it fulfilled its purpose. And I simply had other projects going on at that time and didn't have the extra time to go and uh, add even more content when it was not necessarily needed. So then as you can see from March 600, 624, again 600, and then it went up for like $800. I'm not sure exactly what happened at this point. And keep in mind the course was at the top, it was a top rated course, and it was constantly at number one, number two, or number three. So that helped a lot. And then as you can see, it started to drop on July 2019. 500 and then 400, 300, 200. It went up a bit because it was November. I think it was again featured for uh, the Black Friday sale. And then it continued to drop until now where I barely even hit $300, which is okay and understandable because the course is not updated anymore. And now let's talk about the overall stats that you see right here. So if you like what you see so far, hit that like button as that will definitely help. So as you can see in the total revenue, I made about eight grand and four hundred dollars. This is in a matter of uh, one year and about five months. And uh, right here we have the total enrollments, which means the total amount of students that uh, took my course. And then we can go into the ratings and we'll go a bit more deeply into this. The ratings that I can remember were highly fluctuating between 4.4 to 4.8 at its peak. And what I can say about the lower ratings are because of three reasons. The first one would be that I stopped answering the Q&A section questions after about five months when I stopped updating the course as well. So that definitely hurt the course in, uh, in the long run. The factor for getting lower ratings, which is from my fault again, is that I recorded my code editor with a relatively small font size and people who wanted to watch on their mobile phones couldn't see the code that clearly. I thought about this from the beginning when I started to record and actually increased the font size, but it seems that wasn't enough for everyone. Those are the two main mistakes from my part, which I totally own, which led to lower rating counts. And I'm letting you know about those as you might learn from my mistakes if you plan on creating a course yourself. And also just to show you an example of those ratings, I'm going to go to reviews right here and we'll just go look and a few of them. And the first one, as you can see, the recent, the most recent one is it says it's good, except the text is too small. Again, I'm going to scroll a bit below. 
and uh, as you can see right here the only issue is that the screen text is really small okay we can go a bit uh, below let's go to the second page great course okay I don't understand this let's see what we have and what kind of reviews I also get okay another rating which is nothing wrong with the content but because the Visual Studio window is not maximized on the videos it's quite hard to see the code without having to squint there are a lot of these uh, reviews which as you can see drop the course rating pretty low so I'm going to close this tab and let's talk about the third problem which I saw constantly in the reviews as well is that the Udemy servers do not properly store and compress the videos and the quality drops significantly. I've had numerous of reviews saying the quality is very bad and that it's recorded in 720p or 480p when actually my full course was recorded in 4k and should have been at least delivered in 1080p by Udemy which in the majority of cases that did not happen. Now I will take this time to tell you that I would be glad to go more deeply into any part of the Udemy course journey. Just let me know in the comment section and uh, ask your questions and I will do my best to make a follow up video and cover them or even respond to you directly in the comments. Now the question is, do I recommend you to release a course on Udemy? That depends. If you're a beginner and uh, want to get experience and to reach your target audience faster, then yes. If you're already established on any other social media platform and you have a strong audience, the answer would be yes and no, as you would be able to try and sell directly to your audience and avoid Udemy completely. Now, did this revenue happen all organically from Udemy? No. In my case, if you go to YouTube, search for Fabian Gross, then you'll see my channel and uh, here you can see that I have a ton of videos regarding scraping where I gave people free and quality information and I simply linked my course in the description in case some people might want to check that out and get enrolled. And also to support the course and my content which I was creating at that time, I have also created learnscraping.com which is a blog where I post the actual text tutorial of the videos that I was doing and uh, they were getting quite some traction a lot of them were posted on high quality Twitter pages newsletters and that brought a lot of traffic as well so yeah if you're interested in learning Node.js scraping I have a ton of free tutorials on my blog learnscraping.com and also on this channel you can check those out so thank you for watching and if you liked it I would really appreciate a like and maybe a subscribe so until the next one, I'll see you around.